So today we're going to rebuild the auger gearbox on uh, my Troy built Storm 2620. As you can see, the auger is no longer connected to anything. Uh, it went into a big wet snow bank at the end of the season and uh, stripped out the gears. So we're going to take that out and put in a new set. In order to remove the gearbox, we're going to have to separate the two halves of the blower and then uh, we can, we'll be able to remove the, the auger assembly. So the bolts to separate the front and the rear half are those two big bolts right there in front of the tire. But we have some uh, other stuff we need to do like remove the chute and uh, disconnect some drive pulleys first. So if you look at the chute, you have a pin and a wing nut we have to remove. Once those are out, the assembly will lift right off. And now that the chute's off, we can remove the the pulley cover, which We need to remove the belt. And then remove the cable from the idler pulley down there. Now we're ready to separate the two halves. you have something to catch the back half of the snowblower when you separate the bolts. If you look close, you'll see there's actually a cam that goes over an uh, indentation in the sheet metal that will pivot the front and rear half. You need to line those up when we put it back together. Now we need to take the rear pulley off in order to remove the auger shaft. Um, one tip in order to keep the hole shaft from turning while you use your wrench. Go ahead and stick a scrap of wood down in the chute and hold the impeller blade. At this point, we have to remove the auger pivots or whatever mounting brackets on the either side. You don't need to remove these two, those just hold the bearings. You get ready to eat. Same on this side. And now the whole unit should just slide out. Now with the whole unit off, you can just remove the impeller and then take off the washer and holder from each end and start disassembling now. When you take these off, be careful you don't lose. Be careful you don't lose all these little inserts that are in each side of these. And there these spacers. Goes two, then one.
and there you go, we're ready to open it up. Before you start taking it apart, if you had a lot of rust on, the, on this shaft, you might want to sand it down real quick, just lightly sand off the heavy rust and maybe uh, spray it down just to give the seals that are in here a little something to slide on or else just plan on replacing the seals. But at this point, you need to start taking these guys, these guys out. Now, when you first take this apart, you're going to find probably that it's it's got uh, sealant around the box. I've already had this apart once, as you see in a second. So I've already pried that off and cleaned most of it up. So as this separates, you'll have a shaft that comes out. The shaft comes out. Make sure you don't lose any of this. You get the spacer, all those pieces. Down in here, if you separate, you'll find that this gear will be right in the middle here on a pin. And I already had it off. You can see that this gear has seen better days. And that's why we're cleaning it up. This is filled with grease when you first take it apart. If you look, you might be able to see some of the brass still lurking in there. I got some more cleanup to do. So we'll go do that now. <laughs> now, because the shaft has some damage, I went ahead and bought a whole new rebuild kit. Got it for like just over a hundred dollars on eBay, <clears throat> and it came with a new shaft and a whole new gear and all the various bushings and everything. So you can see this is what the brass gear should look like. And again, that's what happens when it fails. That's after three full seasons of heavy snow and. I have a 300 foot driveway so it got a lot of uh, got a lot of use before it let out but